Good morning, everyone. Welcome to your reading for November 23rd, 2020. I hope you're all doing awesome. Please show me what everyone needs to know here or see. Thank you. I'm going to do one more shuffle. Even though I shuffled right through the song, which was awesome, by the way, Heart of a Dog by The Kills. <clears throat> so this is about loyalty. So your first card. The Ten of Coins in the upright, also called the house, about your long-term assets, relationships, investments, security. It's, um, it's all about being very, very stable, very grounded. Um, it can also mean putting on a brave face in, in the face of something difficult, like um, keeping yourself together, standing very, very strong. It's feeling a little bit like the, um, the stars card, which is the emperor in regular tarot. So it's feeling very, very strong and very um, stable and talking about something long term. In the how, you have the Ten of Cups in the reverse. So this is called anger. So definitely it's saying to me that there was a reversal, like of some kind of happy home life here. It's like they're, they're opposite mirror images to me right now. So something definitely... Like something stable. Was um, ended. It could have had something to do with anger or resentment. Um, I'm feeling like somebody had to escape. Like they. I'm even picking up some kind of. Um, like something very abrupt and something very um, like instability, something like that. Um, but this is, a, this is also about escaping something. So it's like someone just couldn't do responsibilities and long-term, like the long-term repetitive things that you have to do in order to get this kind of stability, stability and working together. This feels like um, somebody just wasn't, like they just couldn't get in that frame of mind. They, they, they just couldn't go there. Let's see what else it says. In the Y, you have the Seven of Swords in the upright. So this is about having hope. This is also about um, deception. It's about figuring out solutions, like real crafty, smart Um, what's that word? Stra strategy. Stra Somebody was str str <laughs> All right, you guys say it for me. Strategic. Someone was strategic. But this also means to wait Oops. for news or changes. So it's, it's actually, it's a very complex card. I think it means somebody's getting smarter. Someone could have figured out someone's resentment or anger as well. Like why this person had to end something. Why they, why they were almost allergic to some kind of solid, stable life. Maybe they just couldn't live within, like, because it is called the house. So maybe they just couldn't, maybe they're commitment phobic. But you're figuring something out and you're waiting. All right. How you feel. Um, competitive. This is also a debate card. It's, it's um, I, I find it's like a fiery competitive card. It's not bitter like the Five of Swords, but it is a back and forth. It is an exchange of ideas. 
could be within yourself as well, but you, it's coming out on the, in the upright. So that's in the gold position. So I feel like you have some kind of, like I said, you figured it out. Like you're onto something like it almost feel, this is also, um, feeling restful to me. So it feels like you figured something out and now it doesn't bother you anymore. Now all there is is to wait. It's like you can put it behind you and that makes you feel stable. All right, your advice. But it was a long internal struggle. All right, in your advice, the Knight of Swords in the upright. Someone might have something to say. They're pointing at the Ten of Cups in the upright. So the Knight of Swords isn't like, they're not someone that apologizes, but they might explain because it, it looks like they're pointing at their escape. So, but it could also be um, someone looking for their escape and finding their way out. Because this can be cutting people off. So this could be the advice to you to either speak your mind or cut them off. Could mean that someone is rushing into you. This is a very quick card. Can be impulsive. So that could be talking about how they left. Somebody left very impulsively and they might have been very cold about it. You might have felt like you had to compete as well with this person, but it's also saying that it's in the gold position, so it was almost like you didn't have to compete. You just had to wait because you figured out what was going on in their brain, in their non-committed brain, something like that. I'm also remembering the song. It's all about, uh, it did say that she um, chewed through the chains and broke free, but she's loyal. And I am kind of um, seeing that. It's like, like you broke free. It's not... It's not bothering you anymore, but you left it on a, on a positive note or something like that so you could move on without any baggage. That could be what this Knight of Swords is as well. All right, bottom of the deck. The Fool in the reverse, right below the Seven of Swords in the reverse. So that can be about getting advice from someone. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm reading up here. Um, the Fool in the Reverse is about taking some kind of chance that you cannot pull back from. It can also mean that um, some kind of risk must be taken. Like that's the only way out of your situation or, or how to solve your situation. Like you are just going to have to take a chance and there's no getting out of it. So you might be... Well, you could be doing both. You could be thinking about how you're going to do this... Or you could be thinking about what you're going to say. This can be you speaking your mind. And also you could be just trying to prepare yourself as much as possible before you take some kind of leap and say something. Or this could also be the other person. Because I do feel like there's another person here because this goes from the Ten of Coins in Upright to the Ten of cups in the reverse so definitely a really fast a fast flip of something something went from stable to sadness and anger and shock and and it was deceptive it was done under like under your nose so you couldn't see it coming but you either figured it out after and made peace with it or you figured it out. Like it's almost like you're you're letting someone learn their own lesson. That's what it feels like. 
I also feel like this fool can mean letting it go. Just letting it go. But that's also what this feels like. It feels like you're very stable. You're also putting on a brave face, but you're abundant. You're doing well for yourself. The how, it, it could be this, um, that's a huge emotional overwhelm. That, but I feel like that's in the past. It's in the past. You put it behind you. But this person might be coming back to say something, to explain something. They might be taking a huge risk to do it. All right, let's lay another layer. King of Swords in the upright. Six of Wands in the reverse. Three of Coins in the upright. Judgment in the reverse. I could just get one card. Nine of Swords in the reverse. And three of Cups in the or Sorry, in the upright. So I feel like... Um, for some of you, somebody does want to take a chance here and they want to speak to you. They don't know what to say, but they, they do want some kind of reunion. So let's, let's go to the front or for the, to the beginning. So So ten of coins in the upright, and you have the king of swords on the right on top of it. This could be a lawyer. This could be somebody professional. Someone I always think of them as a lawyer or a surgeon or a doctor. Someone that is definitely giving you advice or performing some kind of professional service, very impartial, or you could be dealing with an air sign. Definitely something official, something about long term. about a lot of money, about a building, a house, a long-term job. This person is fair and fights for, fights for human rights. Very impartial. In your how, you have the, oh, what was it again? Ten of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, that can mean anger. On top of it, you have the Six of Wands in the reverse. So someone is being very aggressive here. It kind of goes with this 10 of cups feeling, this resentment feeling. Someone is trying to win. Someone also feels like they're right. Like it feels like a sore loser. So you might have hired a lawyer to deal with this person. In your why, you have the three of coins in the upright on top of the seven of swords. So I feel like this is you hoping for um, support, for, for assistance, I feel like it's this person. I feel like you have a lawyer that's protecting your assets because you're dealing with someone who is full of resentment and needs to be right, needs to win. And it's like, this looks like it's already gone past the point of winner, winning or losing. It's like they're keeping some kind of fight going past like the normal point or something like that. Um, you're waiting and hoping for something to change. But you have some kind of huge support. I think it's this guy. I think it's this, um, this impartial person. And you do have somebody. Somebody fighting for you. Because this is definitely it's huge support. So you're supported. All right. And how you feel. 
again, that um, past conflict, that past competition, but in your mind, you feel like you've won it, so it's not bothering you anymore. Then you have the um, judgment in the reverse. So you've made, yeah, you've, you've judged, <clears throat> excuse me, you've made a decision and your decision was, um, no. It's right, sitting right by support as well. So you could have said no to some kind of collaboration, maybe because you don't trust them because of past deception. This almost feels like you're saying, no thanks, I can do it on my own. All right, bottom of the deck. Nine of swords in the reverse on top of the knight of swords. So a lot of swords. Um, this is being very defensive. This is not trusting anyone. So I feel like this could be you, and it could be saying, don't, don't trust. If, if a person is from your past is coming to you after being very, very, very difficult, um, pulling the plug on you without warning, um, maybe trying to fight for money, being really kind of ruthless so that you had to hire someone to protect yourself. Um, they might be coming and saying, "We, I want to support you. And the cards are saying, don't trust them. Also, this support card is on top of the deception card. So, this just keeps coming up all the time. It feels like every general reading I do, it's like the same story, saying someone's trying to come back, don't trust them. So yeah, don't trust this person. This is called military. Oh, they just want to fight. This is domestic dispute here, right above his head. He just wants to fight. He just wants to keep some kind of fight going. It's like he left the building, but then wants to keep you engaged. It's like he can't stop talking because he's always got something, um, some kind of grievance, like he's defensive about everything. Like you just, you can't talk to this person. All right, bottom of the deck, the fool in reverse. So this person might take that leap and call you and want to have some kind of, this person might want to have a face-to-face. -face. They might want to sit down and have a drink and it could be to get you less defensive. Because they know you, you've moved on. You're going after your goals. You're going after your gold. You've, you've put this behind you. And this person wants to keep you in it. Yeah, they might want to get you a little buzzed. So you're, you know, your senses are a little bit you know, fuzzy. So don't trust them. Don't trust this person that wants to come in. Let this king of swords handle your business for you. And that could also be what this is, the Knight of Swords, like just handle things officially. Don't jump off that cliff into this murky pool with whoever your nasty ex is. <laughs> I'm sure we all have one. All right. Um, your shuffle song is called Heart of a Dog, and it's by The Kills. Really awesome song. I love it. All right. Love you guys. Bye.